not those who decide right from wrong. Government is to punish evil, and our republic has set itself up where we, the people, give them that power. And where do we get the ideals on which this republic stands? One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 13 and 14 reminds us to be subject for the Lord's sake to every human institution, whether it be to the emperor as supreme or to the governors, as sent by him to punish those who do evil and to praise who do good. In a constitutional republic, we are responsible for our leaders. So my charge to us at Oakdale Academy is to learn about, to understand, to honor what has been done for us and before us. Especially this weekend as we celebrate, even in uniquely different ways, Memorial Day, where we honor the over one million men and women who have given the ultimate sacrifice, the last full measure of devotion for our country. Let us honor them by learning about the freedoms that they fought, bled, and died for. We are to follow God's law. We are to be grateful for birth and life in this wonderful country. But we are to be ever mindful, to paraphrase Ronald Reagan, that freedom is just one generation away from extinction. As we navigate through this time in our history, let us not turn a blind eye to the fact that we are told a Christian school and a church cannot open. But an abortion clinic is, and I sadly quote our governor, life-sustaining. Let us not neglect that we are the people and we are called at Oakdale to stand firm for character, truth, and wisdom. It is my firm belief that we will, so long as we stand faithful to that mission God gave us nine years ago at our founding, be what Governor Winthrop suggested to his Puritans, a shining city on a hill. God is not done with Oakdale Academy. We are in a strong place to continue to minister and serve and partner with our families and our community. As I said at the beginning of the year, we will face those who do not like what we stand for, who ridicule and mock us, and those who offer slurs and attacks. That's fine. We know our God is with us and we can endure all things with his blessings. Remember the words of Nehemiah, who led the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem after the Babylonian captivity. He said, when our enemies heard that it was known to us and that God had frustrated their plan, we all returned to the wall, each to his work. From that day on, half of my servants worked on construction and half held spears, shields, bows, and coats of mail. And the leaders stood behind the whole house of Judah, who were building on the wall. Those who carried burdens were loaded in such a way that each labored on the work with one hand and held his weapon with the other. How do we carry out that mission? We stand firm. We stay true to that very mission. And we continue together to instill character, truth, and wisdom in our students in order to prepare them for a life of service to God, family, community, and country through classical Christian education. We do it as a shining city on a hill. And we do it together as classical Christian Oakdale. Will you pray with me as we close our time and our school year? Lord Jesus, we thank you for this school year. We thank you for the way that you have provided for Oakdale Academy. 
Thank you for the challenges you have laid before us, especially these past two months. We thank you for the way that you have sustained us. We thank you for your blessings on our families, our faculty, our staff. Lord, we pray in humble uh, petition, Lord, for our country, for our world. We pray, Lord, that you would be merciful to us. We pray that you would wipe clear this pandemic. But Lord, we know that you are sovereign above all things. And we know that if we continue to humble ourselves, we will grow in your blessings. And so, Lord, we thank you for the school year. We give this school year back to you. And we look with anticipated joy to the way that you will work through each of us and through this school. Thank you for the work that you gave us in our mission. And we thank you, Lord, mostly for the sacrifice that you made that's greater than any sacrifice we are making right now. That you so loved us that you sent your only son so that he could come to earth with one purpose, to die for us. And so we thank you for that saving grace, Lord. And we give you this time. We give you this school back. And we pray these things with thankful hearts in the name that is above all names, the wonderful name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us. And enjoy your summer. <laughs>